holiday season, we are looking back at our communities that care that have made a big impact in the community. Eva Anderson introduces us to two organizations that partnered up to help shape kids vision of what they think is possible. On a cold gray April day, this box of books provides a bright spot of color. In access and availability of, of diverse books. Greg Metzger is the executive director of Little Free Library, the nonprofit behind this library and hundreds of thousands like it. It began 13 years ago in Hudson, Wisconsin, and is now international. We're in 108 countries. We're in every continent on the globe. We even have one in Antarctica. Take a look. There it is. Community stewards work with the organization to set up mini libraries in communities where city libraries aren't convenient for everyone. We firmly believe that a personally relevant book and access to that book shouldn't be limited on your ability to travel, your zip code, you know, where you're born, where you live. Then after the murder of George Floyd and the social justice movement that followed, the organization realized just how important it was to fill these libraries with books that represent and reflect the diverse communities that surround them. You know, kids of color and people in marginalized communities very rarely get a mirror where you get to see your own community represented in, in publications and in literature. So Benny Roberts of nonprofit an Urban Ventures began collaborating with Little Free Library to curate a reading list of books that represent different racial, ethnic, and religious backgrounds, diverse authors, and story characters called the Read in Color program. This gave us an opportunity to to be key stakeholders and making sure there were more mirrors. His daughter Jayla saw herself reflected in one book she borrowed from the program, Ada Twist Scientist. She saw the girl and then she saw her family and she was like, hey, that's kind of like our family. The girl is very curious, asks a lot of questions. And is science minded like Jayla. Here she is in her lab coat. She kept going like, I want to be a scientist now. Book was her guide. And providing colorful community representation is something they'll continue. We're hopeful that that helps nurture you know, feelings of empathy and community and frankly make <laughs> the world a little bit of a nicer place. Eva Anderson, CARE 11 News. Little Free Library's Reading Color Program was a 2021 community grant recipient of the Tegna Foundation. Metzger said partnering with CARE 11 and the Tegna Foundation helped them add 600 new books to add to this program, all purchased from local community bookstores. We love that.